I can't show you some of my vlogs yet because I'm wearing this bag in the holiday, so I'm like, I better like unbox it on this channel first. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. So I've been slowly editing my Japan vlogs. I've got so many to go through and well, I did buy a bag on my holiday. There was a few bags that I was looking for, particularly a Plume 32 or 28 or a mini plume to be honest and then I was also looking at Birkin 25s but for the price range that I wanted they weren't in the best condition and then all the ones that I liked were like over $30,000 so I kind of passed it up but maybe next time right so um there was this bag which I saw and well I couldn't get it out of my head and I wanted to show you guys today what bag I bought in Japan. I bought this bag from a store called Orange Boutique in Shibuya and this is a relatively new store and they're actually from the same company as Vintage Koo. If you're not familiar with Vintage Koo they're a pretty reputable seller in Japan that specializes in uh, vintage Chanel, vintage Hermes, vintage Loewe, I even saw Fendi, Dior, and they have like a really amazing inventory. Still have to edit my vlogs of me visiting these stores, so stay tuned guys for that. Um, and yeah, I will show you guys around Vintage Q, Orange Boutique, and much more soon. So Orange Boutique is a newer store of theirs, and Orange Boutique really has more uh, I would say premium Hermes bags in there and not necessarily vintage and they also have a selection of Louis Vuitton, I saw Fendi in there, I saw Dior, Chanel but a lot of their bags tend to be newer as opposed to uh, Vintage Coup which is mainly vintage bags so this is a newer bag and yes I guess I'll just unbox it with you guys let's have a little look together I did wear it quite often on my holiday and well I can't show you some of my vlogs yet because I'm wearing this bag in the holiday, so I'm like, I better like unbox it on this channel first. So, um, I just found a random dust bag. I don't know if this was the dust bag that came with it, uh, but yes, let me just show you the bag. Just take it out of the thingy. Oh. <laughs> Yes, a lot of you guys might not know what this bag is, but it's called the Mosaic Bag, and it's the Mosaic uh, 24, 24, I think it is? It's a size 24 size. Yes, so this bag, I think it's a newer bag from Hermes, but this particular one, I believe, is from 2020, uh, the stamp, and it's in the colour Vert Cricket, and the leather is Epsom. And the reason why I went for this bag is because, well, I recently sold my Mini Ruli and my Varu bag, which were on the smaller side, and I found I wasn't reaching for them because they never fit, like, my chunky cosmetics case and my sunglasses. So I wanted, like, a casual cross body from Hermes and I love the color Vert Cricket. I've always wanted a bag in that color ever since, since I saw the color. I just think it's such a cute color and combined with the size this is like 24 centimeter I think and it also comes in an 18 size so you can get the Mosaic 18 as well. Um, the first time I saw this bag, oh, where did I see it? I think I saw it on the Hermes website maybe and then I also saw it on uh, Ginza Zyoma's channel she was saying it was one of her most underrated bag recommendations because of the clasp and then one of my friends actually who I used to work with at Persifair really wanted a mosaic bag and we were always kind of looking for them but we could never find ones on the pre-love market in Australia I don't think they're as common for some reason but in Japan I did see one in Ginza Zyoma there was a lizard one and then the second one I saw was this Vert Cricut one in the bigger size and I just loved it. Um, so the reason why I love it so much is because the clasp is really easy to open and close. You just push it down and as you can see the shapes kind of make an H. So it's very subtle and I really like the way it just clips together like that. I've left the stickers on because I know with the Constance bag the hardware gets really scratched so I don't know if I should take these little stickers off because I'm sure if I took the stickers off as well it would be shinier and prettier but I don't know I haven't taken the stickers off the hardware yet um, but the condition I bought it in was it was new condition did not come with the receipt came with the box and the dust bag and it was when I bought it you know it wasn't cheap they had an extra 
5% off that day for some reason. And then I also uh, got the tax-free price. So altogether, it came to... Uh, it converted to around seven thousand Australian dollars in total uh, for this bag, which is uh, under retail. So I was quite happy with that price because um, that's a lot less than like a Constance or something. And I think it's purely based on the design is not as popular. But I really like it because of the curved edges as well. And uh, unlike the Constance 24, this one can crossbody. The strap is actually, I think, longer than a Constance 24. So it's really comfy for me to just do the crossbody. Um, it also fits quite a bit of... Let's just see what it fits, guys. Like, you just open it like this. It's really spacious. It's it's different to the Constance because the Constance has those, like, little gussets here that go inwards. But this one is, like, boxy and it sticks out. And it's, like, two compartments sewn together. So it doesn't, like, compact down. It's just, like, a little boxy style. I really like it. I think it has a lot of nice details in it. This is my... Uh, faux chanel <laughs> vanity case i've just got a few things in here um i got this from miniso actually uh so let's just see what fits in here uh that's a little notebook i've got a calvi card holder a key clay um another lipstick holder um and a phone and i'll just show you guys like roughly what fits i suppose it actually fits more than what i expected it's a really soft leather inside it's like i think it's swift leather and it has the stamping uh just there um so it easily fits like the keys uh you can put that there little notebook in here lipstick thingy um then you got the phone in the back like you can fit heaps and then you can probably fit another phone in there also probably slip some sunnies. These are some uh, sunglasses. See if it fits in there too. Uh, yeah. See, it kind of like fits quite a lot. And then it just shuts like that. So it's really easy. And it was really easy to like use when I was in Japan because it was crossbody. Very durable leather. It's Epsom. And weirdly, the colour went with quite a lot as well. So I really liked it. And then sometimes I would wear it on my shoulder as well, just like this. And it looked quite cute. Um, it's not like the lightest bag. I would say it can get a little bit heavy, especially if you um, like put a lot of things inside. But it's really cute. And I really like the colour. And it seems a little bit more like girly um, compared to like the Ruli and the Constance. Um, I, I'm still kind of like open about the Constance. I don't know if I want to get it or not. I'm, I'm like on the fence. But for some reason, this bag, I really like it because it's subtle. And I think the clasp is quite cool and it's really easy to use. I just like the way it shuts. I thought that was really cool. You have a few like little charms that look really cute with it as well. This charm on it on my holiday. This is a Pegasus in uh, Vert Fizz. And I really liked the way that looked on it. And then I also have a, a Vert Cricket Rodeo, which matches the bag pretty well as well. But I think I could even use like a hot pink or... Uh, some other rodeo as well or oh, it looks good just by itself to be honest i, I just like you know deco personalizing my bag a little bit um but yeah that's that's what it looks like it's super robust i really love it um and i think i got it for a pretty good price because um yeah I've, i'm pretty sure it retails for over ten thousand australians and especially in this size you know um even with the constance bags when you get into like the 24 size it's like getting close to twenty thousand. like Especially in box calf. If you get box calf, oh my gosh, that's a whole different price point. Um, Epsom tends to be like the cheaper leather. And I don't know if they made the mosaic in a lot of other like... Oh, they definitely made it in exotic. Because the one I saw at Ginza Zayoma, I'm definitely not saying that right. It was in like a lizard. So they definitely made some fancy versions of this as well. But yeah, and I've actually seen, I think, Vert Cricket with gold hardware. Uh, but mine's palladium which i don't mind i think it makes it a little bit more like casual and uh cool and yeah would i get a mosaic in the smaller size um maybe i would like i don't know i'm quite happy with this one i don't think i need another one um i just got this size because well that was the only one i could find um in like a color that i liked and it's a little bit more practical for me at the moment because for some reason I like carrying quite a few things. I think if I downsize to like a card holder and just a phone, uh, the 18 size would be really cute and especially for like a 
fancy party or wedding. I think the 18 size is really nice. Uh, but yeah, I really like this size. I just think it's a little bit more casual and cool. And I love the Vert Cricut colour. So um, I don't have many other green Hermes bags. I've just got my... A gypsy air in uh th I think this is in granny and as you can see it's a little bit more of a saturated green whereas this is a little bit more of a pastel um and I also wore this on my holiday a lot so I had two green bags so I'm just I don't know I'm really into green bags lately but it's not like emerald green it's like these funky green colors and then the other green bag I have is um <laughs> my um her bag and this is in uh well green uh and then it's got the navy blue on top so it's also a little bit more of a funky color i suppose oh i actually have one more green hermes bag uh which some of you might say is not a bag but i would still say it's a bag it's a clutch and then this is in the malachite color so this is i, I feel a lot of people love malachite this is in the pliplat clutch so it's quite a classy, I think it's a little bit more of a conservative green. Um, I think for some reason I'm more drawn to these like crazy greens. <laughs> I even like, um, there's a new green called Vert Yucca. Let me know if you like that guys, because I feel like it's a very grassy green. But uh, I'm kind of like, when I first saw it, I was like, that's kind of an ugly green. But now it's kind of growing on me. I can see that kind of working in a lot of outfits because it's more of a natural green. Um, also, bamboo is a really pretty colour as well. Um, and I don't know, there's a lot of nice greens you could go for. But uh, Vert Cricket is like, I feel like a very cute princessy green. So that's why I like it. And oh my gosh, I've got actually accumulating a lot of nice little um, pastel colours. Like even the... the um, Oh, that's really pretty too. I like the um bubble gum. It's kind of the same kind of vibe. And yeah, oh, also I think this Pegasus would look really nice on it as well because it has a Vert Cricket wing. I think that would look really cool. But yeah, I think this bag kind of speaks for itself. Uh, yeah, so let me know, guys. Have you heard of the Mosaic bag? Yeah. So that's that. Thanks for listening to my blurby video today. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend going to Orange Boutique as well. They have like the coolest uh, selection of Hermes bags. It's just insane. They even had like diamond encrusted bags in there and like Himalayan and so black. Like it's just really cool to visit anyway. And I'm really glad that I found this little gem in there. Oh, I also went to um, a consignment store called Gallery Rare. They had this really cute... I think it was a Halzan bag in this pastel yellow color. I was tempted to get that. It was about, it was probably a little bit more expensive than this. I think it was over 7,000 and that one was in Swift. It was this really cute pastel yellow. Um, but I ended up going with the mosaic bag. But I, I'll just see if I can find the yellow Halzan as well. Because that was one I was like literally considering buying. But then I bought this instead. So yeah, um, anyway, thanks for listening to my video today. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!